Welcome to Arbitrary Advice. Here is your host, B. Hey guys, and welcome back to Arbitrary Advice. It's your girl B. We're back in a squeaky chair in the office. Um, I really have missed you guys. I just wanted to let you know that I've been going through a lot lately, and I feel like I say that a lot. Um, but in order to be a little bit more consistent, I'm going to start posting every other week for a little while. Um, I think that'll be easier for me to maintain, easier for me to be consistent for you, and it'll be easier on my mental health. I've just, I've had a lot going on. But in good news, I have really good news. We, Paco and I, please ignore the squeaking of the chair. I don't know how loud it is in the mic. Um, Paco and I are getting a puppy and his name is gonna be, I'll announce it later. Um, but I'm super excited about it. Actually, just to make it more fun, if you know me at all, his name is going to be my favorite color. So let me know what you think. It's totally gonna be Periwinkle. Just kidding. Um, so yeah, I'm sure he will make a lot of appearances and I'm sure I will be making tons of content about him because who doesn't love puppies, right? Um, yeah, I am so tired of this chair squeaking every time I move. I'm gonna try to be really still. So, also, I got a weighted hula hoop because I saw it so much on my TikTok ads and for months I was like, I really want to get it, like it looks like a lot of fun. Um, my reaction to getting it is it is a lot of fun I, I do have a lot of fun with it it's not much of a workout unless you do it for a good amount of time like at least 30 minutes um i don't think it's gonna help me lose a lot of weight but it is something to be active and doing and i lately i've been having a hard time like even getting out of bed so doing anything that's fun that gets me up and moving gets the blood flowing 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, if I can actually be consistent with anything in life, I will do a before and after picture <laughs> of using it. But yeah, I don't know how much of a workout it really is. Um, Cause you know, the ads are gonna say like, yeah, I lost like a hundred pounds, but they don't mention, you know, how they're pumping at the gym every day and like <laughs> eating better. Um, so yeah. I also have come to a realization and also, apologies, this is Tangent Island again. Um, I came to the realization that the ocean really freaks me out, okay? So, like, you know, Finding Nemo is my all-time favorite movie. Um, if anybody knows me well, they know that, which is funny because Scooby-Doo is my all-time favorite show, but the Scooby-Doo movies, like, they, okay, this is gonna be hard to explain, but all the Scooby-Doo movies, they're great as like a whole sequence. It's like the story of Scooby-Doo and you're following him on another mystery and it's my favorite shit ever. I mean, literally my favorite shit ever. But the squeaks every time I freaking try to make a point, it's like, Arr. but um, Scooby-Doo is good as a series. I love Scooby-Doo as a whole. It's like my favorite thing, as you know. Um. But Finding Nemo is just, for one movie, without having, I mean, it does have a sequel, but Finding Nemo on its own is my favorite movie of all time, and I will argue with anybody about it. Um, I also heard that Pop Poor Review did a review on Finding Nemo, and I still have yet to listen to it, but I'm totally going to, so we shall see, Pop Poor Review. We shall see how you feel, because I love it. Um, but... So, like, the real ocean scares the shit out of me, though. Because, like, have you seen the creatures that are in the ocean? Like, I've looked up, like, not documentaries, but, like, videos on, like, different ocean creatures and shit. And I also took marine biology in high school. So, like, totally a professional here. Just kidding. Um, but the fucking creatures that are in the ocean are so creepy. Like, first of all, I don't want to be anywhere, land or sea, where there are things that can just swallow me whole. Like a whale, excuse me, that is way too big, no thank you. Um, I don't wanna be anywhere a whale is. 
I don't want to be anywhere a whale has been. I don't. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And I know I've talked about how swimming in the ocean, you're just swimming in like, you know, you don't even know what you're swimming in. Um, we've had that tangent before, but I'm specifically on a tangent about the creatures that come in the ocean. Like, have you, like, okay, in Finding Nemo, you know that, that fish in the deep sea that like has that light bulb? And like accidentally like swallows his own light bulb or something. You know what I'm talking about? The scary fish. I'm gonna put a picture. <laughs> um, the real version of that even fucking scarier. Like what? So scary. Um, yeah. So, yeah. There, there's just. I, I can only assume the creatures in the ocean were made to haunt your nightmares, and that was their purpose. Um, so, I'm just saying. I'm gonna stay on the land and I'm gonna stay away from bears and I'm gonna stay away from tigers and lions. I should have said lions and tigers and bears and I could have said oh my and it would have been a moment but I fucked it up. So yeah, that's just how I feel. I feel like my glasses will not stay on my face lately and I don't know how to fix them. I'm pretty sure it's just like a screw or something that you, anyways. You can like tighten it, but I don't want to do it because then Lord knows I'm clumsy and like a mess in all aspects of life and I would probably like somehow crack them in half on accident. Um, so yeah, I also wanted to tell you guys about something I came across on TikTok that is so cool. Like you remember a few episodes ago, I don't remember which one it was. I talked about how, you know what, I want to be famous for being an extra. We went so far without yawning this time. I'm proud. It's six whole minutes in. Um, so I talked about how I would want to become famous for being an extra in movies. And, um, today I discovered on TikTok that there is something called Foley acting, which I didn't know was the name for this, but, and I might butcher the definition, but I'm going to try my best. So it's basically like, um, Foley acting is like pe actors, people that use props to make different sounds in movies so like footsteps glass breaking throwing up like slamming a car door you know stuff like that um and they record it in like a some sort of studio and they it gets used in the movie so like it sounds like really crisp and really good um now i knew that they did this type of stuff for animated movies. I didn't know that they did this for like real, what I call real people movies, live action movies. Um, so yeah, I follow, I follow this girl on TikTok now. Her name, well her TikTok name is R-E-E-L, real fully sound. So it's spelled R-E-E-L-F-O-L-E-Y-S-O-U-N-D and she's amazing. She shows some of the coolest stuff that she does and like how she does it. And she has people guess like what sound she's making and stuff and um yeah i just i had no idea that this happened in live action movies i thought like we were hearing the footsteps of like the actual people which maybe i'm dumb for that but like i was just thinking like you know they're actually usually walking in a place but to make it sound really crisp and perfect there's somebody behind the scenes walking in like heels or something to make it sound like really crisp and, and good so like that's talent because you gotta be able to like mimic like their motion and like mi mimic their walking rhythm and stuff you know what I mean so that added a whole aspect of um interest into movies for me so yeah um I hate myself I've yawned like three times in the last three minutes not that I'm counting or anything uh you know what guys, I really want to emphasize once again that self-care is very important. I have been lacking in that. I kind of, you know, I was on that whole, well I think I talked about it on here, I was on that whole like working out, eating right, getting fit trend, and then it kind of tanked because I got busy in life and I was just like, well it's okay to skip today, it's okay to skip today, like, and then I just kept skipping stuff and then stuff was like piling up like right now I currently have so much laundry and dishes and I'm trying to take it day by day and pick one thing to accomplish um 
so 10 out of 10 recommend if you feel the same way like just take care of yourself like you know I um try to take take stuff day by day nowadays uh but yeah so I just wanted you guys to know that I love you I'm proud of you and you're killing it and I have not forgotten you um so yeah, if you want to see more content from me, follow my Instagram at Arbitrary Advice, no capital symbols or spaces. On Facebook at Arbitrary Advice Podcast, um, you can just search it and it'll come up. On YouTube, you can search it and it'll come up. Um, and on TikTok, I think it comes up as Arbitrary Advice Po instead of Arbitrary Advice Pod, but you can try either one, my face, you know match it to my face and it'll be me um yeah but I just wanted to let you guys know that I love you and thank you for all your patience and understanding and I will see you guys in two weeks oh hi didn't hear you there this is Amy and Lexi and we're coming at you from confessions of retail all the tea If you're a retail employee like us, then you know that there are some crazy, off-the-wall things that happen in your line of work. Join us every Wednesday while we spill all this hot confessional tea on the line of work known as retail. Everything from our own experiences to listener-submitted stories. And let me tell you, there are some crazy things that happen that even we can hardly believe. I know, right? You can find us on any major podcast directory. You can join us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, you can follow us on Twitter. And if you have hot tea to spill, you can send it our way to confessionsofretailallthetea at gmail.com. We will see you in the confessional booth. Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Andrew. And we are the hosts of Two Beards Please podcast. I asked him if he'd ever done this before. He said that he had. So you're asking these questions while you're on the operating table? Just before we start, right. So you didn't think to ask these questions nah. like in a consultation visit? I really or didn't care. I just wanted lines. to roll along the hot knife <laughs> cauterization as long as I could. I also had some adults come to my door, not with kids. Did you give them candy? I did. What's wrong with you? What's they f- deserve apples. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite comedy movie that I could think of in four hours when some <laughs> idiot says, what's your favorite four comedy movies of all time? <laughs> okay. This beardy is based on a limited amount of time, and I only had two beers. <laughs> <laughs> laugh with us or laugh at us. Either way, you're laughing, and we're responsible. Find all of the links to our social media as well as major listening platforms on our website, twobeardsplease.com. That was a Titan Gas episode.